So I wanted to welcome you all to our Mommy and Me class. Uh, I think this is going to be a pretty outstanding opportunity to hear from a panel of experts today. Uh, the point of this class is to actually share wellness and essential oils and uh, look at that from the perspective of how do we use essential oils with our younger population. So what I'd like to do is um, share with you a little bit. My name is Lynn Morales, and I'm here to share this information with you today regarding Young Living Essential Oils. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our history, our values, and our company, and then we're going to discover what essential oils are all about, how to use them, and how to use them with kids to help explore uh, how they can be used from a wellness perspective. Before we get started, though, I would like to cover our, what I refer to as the necessary formalities, otherwise known as our disclaimer. Anything that we talk about today, we're not here to diagnose, treat, or cure anything. We're simply sharing information to support you from a wellness perspective. So moving along, we're going to talk a little bit about our stories. And uh, what I'd like to do is bring up some of our moms, because moms know best. And I have a few moms here in the audience, and what they're going to do is share a little bit of why they got interested in using essential oils. Uh, you know, many people don't realize that only 8% of the population in the world actually knows what an essential oil is. So by the time you leave here today, you're going to be smarter than the rest of the 92%. So what I'd like to do is um, everybody's got their own unique story. And what I'd like to do is bring up our first mom, Kelly. And she's going to share with you a little bit of her story uh, in about 30 seconds to a minute. Hi, my name is Kelly Harrington, and I got involved with essential oils uh, for personal reasons. Um, we got introduced to um, an oil called Thieves um, because I'm in the medical field. Um, it really helped boost my immune system. Um, and then my daughter, Kira, and Sydney started finding my oils and getting into my oils and found that it really promoted health in their life and and they enjoyed them so it made them happier and, and fun to be around and so we've just been using them for the last year um, every day thank you. thank you Kelly Kristen you come up and share your story thank you hi I'm Kristen Jones I have been seeing a lot of people's posts on Facebook about, hey, I'm placing an essential oil order, or I used essential oils to do this or do that. And finally, I asked one of my friends, I said, what is this stuff? And she told me that she started using it with her daughter um, to promote wellness because she was having some issues with other traditional medications. And I thought, well, that sounds wonderful. I mean, my husband is kind of a... Um, he likes non-traditional medicine type stuff. He's not necessarily for all the Western medicine. So all the time, well, too many antibiotics, too much of this, too much of that. And so I was like, well, he might be on board with this too. So we, we got it and we use it mainly to just kind of try to keep people well and build our immune system because that's the basis for being healthy. So that's why we use it. Great. Thank you so much, Kristen, for sharing. And we're gonna bring up Natasha. Natasha, please share with us your story of how you got invited to work with essential oils. All right. Hi, um, my name is Natasha Edwards, and um, I got introduced to using the oils by a dear friend that's here today. It'll be Mandy. And um, I actually was interested in the oils for myself and the kiddos, um, mostly for our allergies. We suffer um, tremendously with our allergies, and um, I just wanted to find something that we could use um, to eliminate us using a lot of the other medicine. I don't know if I should say it or not. <laughs> I'll just say it, Claritin and Zyrtex, because we were buying it in bulk. And um, it got to a point to where we r I really wasn't feeling that that was healthy for us to continue to use it on a daily basis, um, and I mean every single day, we would pop our pill <laughs> and take our Claritin. So um, I got introduced to these oils, and um, they pretty much became a favorite of our kiddos um, once they started smelling familiar smells that they were already um, aware of, like peppermint, um, lavender, and lemon. 
Um, so that was the most, um, the, the three most oils that we use, and that was pretty much why we got started. Thank you. Now, I noticed you have your husband here today. Does dad have anything he'd like to say? I know it's a mommy and me class, but I just thought I'd give you the chance. I just ditto what she said. <laughs> he, he said ditto what, what his wife said. You know, that's a really good thing. Happy wife, happy life, right? <laughs> Excellent. Now what I'd like to do is we have uh, a wonderful moderator today for our Mommy and Me panel, Mandy. And Miss Mandy's going to bring our panel out and introduce them to you. And these are many children that have found essential oils, whether they were supposed to or not, and started using them. And we have several stories throughout our presentation of uh, how the kids use them, and then what we're going to do is come back and correct anything they might have said, because as I learned from Mandy, who is a kindergarten teacher, I love this line that she said that she tells the parents, well, I won't tell, I won't believe everything your kids tell me if you don't believe everything they tell you about class, and I thought that was a great story, so Mandy, would you come on out here, please, and introduce our panel? All right, thank you for being here with us today. How are you girls? Good. All right, well, I have our first question and we just want to get to know our panel. So can you tell us your name? My name's Kira. Hey, Kira. My name's Olivia. Hey, Olivia. My name's Haley. Haley? My name's Haley. Are you playing copycat? Uh, oh no. We have started something very dangerous. Okay. We have to come up with a plan because if I say Haley, you both are going to answer me. So this Haley, do you have a middle name that we can use? Haley Ann? Can I call you Haley Ann? Okay, Haley Ann, and then Haley. Ashlyn. And Ashlyn, all right, well, we're so glad you're here with us. Can you tell us how old you are and maybe what grade you're in if you're already in school? I'm seven and I'm in second grade. I'm Olivia. How old are you? Five. Five years old. I'm five years old too. I'm five years old. I'm seven years old and I'm in second grade. Second grade. So Ashlyn's the oldest and then we've got three five-year-olds. And Kira, tell me one more time. How old are you? Seven I'm in second grade. Uh, two second graders on the outside and then five-year-olds on the inside. Perfect. Girls, my first question for you is, do you have a favorite oil? And what is it? My favorite oil is Thieves. Why do you like Thieves? That's one of my favorites for sure. Um, because um, it helps your nose not get plugged. Ooh, I've, I've had a plugged nose here and there too, Kira. I totally understand. Olivia, do you have a favorite oil? Peppermint. Mm, peppermint. Do you have a reason why you like peppermint? Because it smells good. Say it again. Because it smells good. I agree. All right, Haley Ann, are you ready? Do you have a favorite oil? It is. Purification. Mmm, purification. What do you use purification for, Haley? Um, my bites. Bug bites? That's a good one. All right, next, Haley, do you have a favorite oil? Lemon. Mmm, lemon. What do you use lemon for, Haley? Put in tea. Ooh, I like that idea. Ashlyn, do you have a favorite oil? My favorite oil is uh, lavender because it helps you stay calm. Ooh, it helps you stay calm. Now, Ashlyn, you have two little sisters at home, right? Right? Do you have two little sisters? 
Do you guys use lavender a lot? Why do you think that you guys use lavender for your little sisters? Because McKenna always is doesn't like sleeping in her bed, and it, she always fusses, and so my mom puts some lavender on her. I love it. That's a good reason to use lavender. I love it. Okay, girls, my next question is, do any of you know where essential oils come from? If you do, you can raise your hand. Or if you want to take a guess, where do you think essential oils come from? Where do you think they come from, Haley Ann? Um, the store. The store, okay. Who else has a guess? Olivia? Plants. Ooh, you think they come from plants. Do we have any other guesses about where essential oils come from? The store, plants. What do you think, Kira? Packages. Oh, packages, yep, okay. Well, in just a little bit, we'll be talking about where essential oils really come from. Do they come from the store? Do they come from plants? Or do they just come from packages? We'll find out in just a little bit. Haley, do you have one? Where do you think essential oils come from? Trees. Ooh, trees. So trees, plants, packages, and what was the other one? Store. The store. Thanks, Olivia. What a great listener you are. Okay, let's see. Um, where does mommy rub your oils at? And you can raise your hand if you want to answer. Let's see. Let's start with Kira since your hand is up. Where does mommy rub your oils? On... Um, on my, on my toes. On your toes? Do you remember which kind of oil she rubs on your toes? Which kind? Thieves. Ooh, thieves. Do you know why she does that? To help my nose not get plugged. Huh, so you put thieves on your feet and it helps your nose? All the way from your toes to your nose? I love that, Kira. Okay, let's see who's next. Where does mommy rub your oils at? Haley Ann, do you want to answer? She rubs it on my belly. On your belly? Do you know which oil she rubs on your belly? Um, she rubs... Um, lavender. Mmm, lavender. Haley Ann, do you know why she rubs lavender on your tummy? Or not sure? Because to relax. Ooh, so lavender on your belly to relax. I like that answer. Anybody else? Do you have an answer, Haley? No. Yes? Where does mommy put your oils at, Haley? My pillow. Ooh, I like this answer. On your pillow, like at nighttime maybe? Why does she put them on your pillow? I can always sleep better. Ooh, to help you sleep better? Do you know which oil she puts on your pillow to help you sleep better? Lavender. Mm, it sounds like so far lavender might be a kid favorite here. It has several different uses that we'll talk about here in just a few minutes. Ashlyn, where's mom put your oils at? On my blanket and on my pillow. What kind does she put on your blanket and pillow? Lavender. For the same reason? So all of you girls use lavender? I love it. Olivia, where's mommy put your oils? Um, on my legs. On your legs? Do you know which oil she puts on your legs? Owie. Owie? That's a silly name. Owie oil. Say it again. Owie oil. Owie oil? That sounds so silly. What? Why would she put owie oil on your legs? To help. To make them stop hurting. Like if you have an owie, then they put owie oil on it? I'm going to have to see this later. That sounds so great. All right, let's see. Okay, let's do this one. Mm, and this is mainly for Haley and Ashlyn because you girls are big sisters. Do you know if there are any oils that your mom uses on your little brother, Haley, or Ashlyn, your little sisters? Ashlyn, do you have one? Lavender. Okay, and we kind of already talked about that. Why does she use lavender on your sisters so much? Do you remember? 
Because it helps us stay calm. Ooh, it helps them stay calm. So sometimes your sisters aren't very calm. Sometimes they're a little rowdy, maybe, and they use lavender. I love it. Haley, do you know if there's an oil that mom uses on Hayden a lot? Peace and calming. Peace and calming? What does that do for Hayden? Do you know? You don't know what, what it does for Hayden? Hmm, peace and calming. Do you think it kind of calms him down a little bit? I think so, too. Olivia, do you have an answer? Um, Do you have a little sister? I have a little brother. <gasps> a little brother? How old is your little brother? He just turned three. And are there any oils that mommy uses on your little three-year-old brother a lot? Do you remember the name of it? If you, if you don't, that's okay. Is it sniffle Snifflings. <gasps> Ooh, snifflies. I wonder what that helps with. Do you know what it helps with, Olivia? Your sniffles. Oh, these are perfect names. So you use owie oil for your owies and sniffles for your sniffles? I love these names. These are great. Okay, girls, is there anything else that you want to tell us about oils today? Because we're about done. Olivia, what else would you like to say about oils? They come from plants. They come from plants. You're like certain they come from plants. Well, Kira still thinks they come from packages, and so we'll have to find that out here in just a few minutes. They really do come from plants. My mom. They really do come from plants. My mom had a thumbs up. Okay, mom gave you the thumbs up to tell you you were right on. Thanks, mom. Okay, anybody else want to say anything else about oils? Kira? Um, my sister uses um, an oil. Um, in her bath to help her growing pain. Her growing pains. Do you know which oil that is? Not sure? That's a great idea. So you can put oils in the bathtub too? What a great idea. Okay, girls, we are really glad that you were here with us today. Thank you so much. Girls, you can stand up. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Mandy. Will you help our panel? Thank you, panel. We really appreciate that. Can you guys give another round of applause? They did a great job. Fantastic. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Miss Mandy. We really appreciate all that you did to uh, facilitate our panel. What we want to do now is go through um, a little bit more information about wellness and essential oils for kiddos. And um, many of you, um, as you can see, they've had many different uses. Lavender definitely was a, a very important oil for our panel. Uh, we've got a bunch of oils we're going to share with you today. But we first want to share with you our mission statement. Um, honoring the stewardship to champion nature's living energy essential oils um, into uh, those little bottles. Uh, you know, there was a little bit of, uh, they were both correct. They originally do come from plants, and then the mailman brings them in packages. So our, our panel did an excellent job uh, with their words there. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the company that's behind these oils, Young Living. First and foremost, we're a wellness company. We are not uh, here to um, diagnose, treat, or cure anything. We're here to help people feel better, and that's really the bottom line. Um, so whether it's personal care products, household products, um, all the products are, are developed with toxin-free in mind and are derived from uh, nature's uh, source. This company was actually founded by uh, D. Gary Young, and he is a naturopath, and he grew up in uh, Idaho, quite the rural area. His wife, Mary, is the CEO of the company, and um, grew up in very humble beginnings, but he understood and knew the importance of working with nature and having nature 
provide us what we need in the world. He actually became familiar with essential oils in 1985, and he's traveled the world ever since uh, to uh, learn more about oils and, we, and actually obtain oils, different plants, different trees, the finest materials from all around the world. So when we talk about um, Young Living, we're not just speaking of, of a company. We're not just speaking of essential oils. We're speaking of a lifestyle. Um, and imagine a life of optimal wellness. You know, so many people don't realize uh, that, that the state of health and wellness in our country today um, really has been on a decline for a while, and, and companies are starting to move in that direction and try to help uh, people understand the importance of, of getting their weight down, watching what they eat, things like that. And so it's a lifestyle, and, and trust me, if you've ever seen medical costs today or had to experience them, this is not something you can afford <laughs> to be sick. Uh, it's, it's much more fun. Is there anybody here who thinks it's fun to be sick? I didn't think so, right? It's, it's much, you know, maybe a sick day or two, you know, a little relaxation day. But I like to call those wellness days, call in well. Well, I think I'll go to the park today instead, <laughs> right? So that's what I call a wellness day. Anyway, so we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, our panel spoke um, some great wisdom here, right, out of the mouth of babes. Uh, they spoke some great wisdom. We're actually going to, uh, there wasn't hardly, I don't think there was a thing I heard that they said that was something I'd want to correct. I thought that's what the rest of the presentation was about, was to correct what the panel said. But quite frankly, I thought they did a fabulous job. Uh, so what we're going to do, though, is go a little bit more in depth with some of the great answers that they gave us, uh, especially uh, Ashlyn and Olivia saying that they, essential oils come from plants and trees. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, what is an essential oil, and, um, and we're going to take that through this video. So hang on just a second, and we'll watch that. In today's video, you'll learn what is an essential oil and what are the different quality levels of oil. Essential oil quality is so important. Do you know what sets apart certain essential oils from others? In this video, you'll get to know what an essential oil really is and why some are more valuable than others. An essential oil is a volatile substance derived from plants that contains the natural smell and characteristics of the plant. When I say volatile, I don't mean explosive. Essential oils are volatile in the sense that they rise quickly into the air and generate a smell within the area. All essential oils possess this quality, but not all essential oils are of the same quality. Today, you can find four different grades of essential oils on the market. The first is Young Living Standard, often called therapeutic grade. These oils are considered pure essential oils, extracted from sustainably raised plants, and contain optimal levels of natural plant compounds found in organic botanicals. Next, you'll see natural or organic essential oils. These oils can pass growing standards, but may or may not contain optimal levels of important plant compounds found in Young Living's essential oils. Next, you'll find what is known as extended or altered oils. These are considered fragrance grade oils because they are used for their aroma only and offer minimal or undetectable levels of important plant compounds. Lastly, there are synthetic or nature identical oils, and these oils are simply created in a laboratory. Each quality of essential oil has its place, but because Young Living's therapeutic grade essential oils are pure and contain the optimal levels of desirable plant compounds, they are the only oils that we recommend for personal use. Um, in that great video with Lindsay, what essential oils are. And um, it's important that you know that when you look at oils that maybe you find at the grocery store, she talked about different grades, and it's important to understand what that means because we're going to walk through that a little bit, but there are certain grades that are not meant to be ingested, certain grades that are m not meant to be on your skin, right? And so basically what that means is that uh, if you put something on the skin, it absorbs, right? So if you're not supposed to have any kind of an oil, 
if it says on there, not for internal use, but you put it on your skin, is it going inside your system? Yeah, right? So it's important that you understand the difference between grade A therapeutic oils and those oils that maybe you would buy at the grocery store. Next thing we want to talk about is drugs or essential oils. You know, you know, they both do something very similar in that uh, they both work with the body on the, at the cellular level. And so the important thing to note is that uh, the long-term effect on the cells can be very, very different. And so what we want you to understand is that essential oils are clean. They actually help to clean the receptor sites. All your cells have a receptor site, and the oils actually help to clean it as opposed to what may happen with drugs which actually block receptor sites. So that's something really important to keep in mind. And I know, Natasha, that was one of the things you were talking about was the different you know, medications or things like that and the importance. And so you made a very good decision right, by considering essential oils in the picture. Now, essential oils go way back. I mean, does anybody, does anybody uh, think like they just came out in, in 1994 when this company started? Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, the reality is essential oils date back to, you know, the Egyptians, the, back in the Bible. You've heard it referenced in Bible references oftentimes. Uh, it goes back to um, the pyramids. Many, you know, many of the uh, pharaohs were buried with essential oils. And many of the essential oils are actually worth, they were worth more than, than gold. Uh, and so when, when you think about essential oils, um, know that you have your hands on something very powerful and something that's also very um, important uh, from a, a um, purity standpoint. Now, we heard a little bit uh, from the kids. I don't know that we specifically asked them how essential oils are made, but let's talk a little bit about what they look like because some of them were touching on this for just a moment. In this video, you will learn how essential oils are extracted. You may wonder how essential oils are extracted from plants. Four basic extraction techniques exist. Distilling, cold pressing, resin tapping, and absolute oil extraction. And I'd like to cover each of these in detail. Let's start with the most common of all the essential oil extraction methods, which is steam distillation. This process allows us to extract essential oils from very delicate plant materials. During the process, it's critical to control temperature and pressure to avoid burning the oils during distillation. During steam distillation, we place a water bath over a heat source with the aromatic plant suspended over the water. As the water is heated, a steam is generated and rises through the plant material. That steam, now heavy with essential oil molecules, moves into a condensing coil. The condensing coil is warm on the inside, but surrounded by a cool water bath, causing the steam to condense into floral water and essential oils. Because water and oil do not generally mix, a natural separation occurs where the floral water sinks to the bottom and the essential oil rises to the top. The floral water can then be drained and the essential oil is collected and then sent to be decanted and filtered. Another method used to extract essential oils is cold pressing. This technique is specifically used for citrus essential oils and fatty oils. Citrus oils contain delicate citrol molecules that are broken down via steam distillation and become very bitter. Therefore, Young Living does not accept any citrus oils that have been steam distilled, only those that have been cold pressed. Fatty oils such as olive oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, and coconut oil are also cold pressed directly from the plant material. So what is cold pressing? Envision a very simple technique in which you place a very heavy weight on top of a container full of plant material. The heavy weight then presses the natural oils out of the plant material and is in essence cold pressing. A third, less common technique is called resin tapping. This technique is used for a few of Young Living's essential oils, including frankincense, myrrh, and copaiba. During resin tapping, external plant parts are cut, and this allows the internal resin to seep out and be collected. 
Then the resin is steam distilled, which gives rise to the essential oils. The final technique is absolute oil extraction. This is the most complicated of essential oil extraction techniques because it requires use of a solvent. A solvent is a substance that helps to dissolve another substance. In the case of some essential oils, the plant material is so very delicate that it would not survive an initial steam distillation. During absolute extraction, we add a solvent to the plant material. The solvent helps to pull the essential oil out of the plant without compromising the integrity of the oil. Then, in order to separate the solvent from the essential oil, a second extraction uses steam to recover the solvent and produce the final absolute oil. The absolute oil is then collected and sent to our laboratory for testing. Absolute oil extraction is only used for jasmine and neroli essential oil. And it's important to note that a trace residue of the solvent may be left behind. So ingestion of these oils is not recommended. However, the solvent that is left behind evaporates very quickly. So jasmine and neroli are perfectly safe for topical application and inhalation. We at Young Living are committed to using the best possible extraction method for each essential oil that we offer. Our proprietary seed to seal process is designed to preserve as much of the botanical's precious chemical profile as possible. That's exactly what I heard the kids say, right? Pretty much, we're right there? Okay, good. So um, what we're gonna do now is talk a little bit about how essential oils are used. And um, we have another great video that will explain that. There's basically three general ways that they're used, and so let's talk about those in, with Lindsay one more time. Welcome back. In this video, you'll learn how to use essential oils. If you're new to essential oils, please note that each bottle of Young Living essential oils is labeled with directions for how that oil can be used. The labels are product specific and may vary based on location. Please consult with the product label for appropriate usage directions. The label may indicate use of an essential oil through one or more of these methods. The first is topical application in which essential oils may be applied directly to the skin or diluted using a carrier oil. A carrier oil is a vegetable oil such as Young Living's V6 vegetable complex, olive oil, or coconut oil. Carrier oils ensure that the application of essential oil is comfortable and prevents waste from excessive application. Products such as vegetable shortening, butter, and margarine, as well as petroleum derivatives such as petrolatum jelly, should not be used as a carrier oil. You may also use essential oils by inhaling them. This can be done by directly inhaling their aroma from the bottle or by using a Young Living diffuser to release the oils into the air. Finally, essential oils may be ingested. You may choose to dispense the oils directly onto your tongue, mix with water or Ninja Red, or place in a capsule before swallowing. Be sure to always check the label to see how essential oils may best be used. That also seems congruent with what a lot of the kids were saying today, right? How they use the oils. So. Topically, we heard a few had little toes getting some oils on them. We also know aromatically, and we have a number of diffusers. Here's a sample of two. And then, of course, internally, and you'll see here, we have a picture of a capsule. There's a couple of ways you can do the internal and the, the capsule. There's a little gel caps or something that can be purchased. Uh, or I like to add them to my tea. I use them often in that manner. But let's talk a little bit about some precautions because after all, this is a mommy and me class, right? So one of the things that we want to take a look at is what are some of the things we need to be careful of when we're talking about oils in general? So you only want to use 100% pure grade essential oils. So does that mean that you use the oils that you find at um, the grocery store? No, right. You want to use the oils that we know have been checked verified, safety checked. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Another thing it's important to note is avoid using citrus oils on skin areas that are gonna be exposed to direct sunlight at least 12 hours prior. 
or, or after, so to avoid any photosensitivity. So that's something to keep in mind too. Did anybody know that about the citrus oils? Keeping those. Um, always dilute essential oils for babies, right? So regardless of what essential oil we're using, even if it seems, oh, very calming, like lavender, not a big deal, if you're ever in doubt, always dilute on a baby, okay? And on any of your youngsters, I know some people, even adults who've had some sensitivities, I think I know someone here in the audience has had some sensitivities to a particular oil, not a big deal. We're gonna talk about how to dilute. One of the main things you can use is V6, um, which is a, a, a carrier oil. Carrier oils are also like coconut oil, olive oil, different things like that. You saw the ones not to dilute with in the, in the video. Um, don't go grabbing some butter and, you know, you know, on you. I mean, not that it would be horrible, but, you know, it's, you might cook a little bit. Um, and then always avoid using skincare products, shampoos, lotions, which have any petrochemicals in it that could actually counteract with therapeutic grade essential oils. So there's skincare line, uh, hair care line we're going to be talking about today. We're going to show you some of that. So uh, you won't have any concerns there from a toxin perspective and a petrochemical perspective. Um, there are different guides that will tell you there that, that essential oils should be avoided during pregnancy. Um, but quite frankly, as long as you, you know, there, there, is, there are no reported uh, abnormalities of babies uh, when moms used essential oils during pregnancy. I mean, there are zero reported abnormalities. Um, as long as essential oils were used correctly, they were used with a, a carrier oil, there, there is not a concern when you are using grade A essential oils. Does that mean the oils you buy at the store? No. <laughs> that means grade A essential oils. Um, also, if you are just someone who's cautious by nature, anyone in here that way? Cautious by nature? Where's my reckless ones? Oh, I have mostly reckless ones in here. Okay. Cautious by nature. Well, if you are cautious by nature, when in doubt, always dilute. Always dilute. Do you always dilute, cautious one? Yeah. Very good. Okay, let's move on and let's talk a little bit about our company. So Young Living, um, again, we're a world leader in essential oils. We've been around since 1994. That's a long time. We've already had our, we're now in our 21st year. Uh, and so essentially... Uh, we have farms around the world. We have a tremendous quality seed to seal process that we're going to talk about. And there's no other company that puts that together in one place. So any of our partner farms, any of our farms, all of them meet the same standard. And if they don't pass the standard, we don't use that oil. So where do you think we might do with that oil? That oil might go to companies that don't have those standards, right? So... Let's just keep in mind that only the oils that make it in these bottles, they have exactly the quality therapeutic grade A you're looking for, or it wouldn't be in these bottles. Okay. So what we're going to do is we have a seed to seal process, um, and it's basically this, seeding, cultivating, distilling, testing, and then sealing, meaning sealing the oil in the bottle. What we're going to do is we're going to have uh, we're going to watch a quick video that's going to explain that process to you in more detail. And um, anytime you have the opportunity to actually see this process live, it's an amazing process to watch. Nature's purest energy finds its genesis in tiny seeds. Earth provides thousands of varieties of seeds, each with a unique purpose. Many of these seeds become aromatic plants, crucial sources for therapeutic essential oils. The secret from seed to seal is first establishing the quality of seed that's going into your field. This is the foundation of which the pure oil is built upon and the integrity of that oil. If you don't know your seed, you don't know your oil. To understand which seeds yield the best essential oils, Young Living specialists verify every species. This translates into confidence that every Young Living essential oil contains the pure energy that nature intends. Mm -hmm. 
As stewards who protect the living energy found in essential oils, Young Living balances the forces of nature. Soil. Water. And sun. In the seed to seal process, when it comes to cultivation, that's me. Well, you get a satisfaction out of, you know, farming that you get nowhere else. I mean, it's, it's a different, uh, you kind of got to be a special guy to enjoy farming because there's a whole lot of work involved. And it's not just mental, but it's physical as well. It's very satisfying to uh, know each year that we've increased our oil production. The quality seems to go up each year. Uh, we've done a lot of research on different uh, ideas out in the fields. And that's very satisfying to know that uh, each year we improve. Essential oils, the golden gift of plants. Young Living's mantle to free this life-giving energy acts as the core of seed to seal. To reach perfection, Young Living controls the entire process. The machinery, the knowledge, and the advancement of superior distillation techniques. This is the Young Living Distillery here in Mona, Utah, and there's none like it any. That's not true. There's five other like this in the world because I built them. This is a life-giving substance. And if it's not treated properly, then you don't get all those elements that gives that life. And the secret is here in the whole distillation process. And if you don't understand distillation, then there's no way that you're gonna know whether you have a pure oil or not. Essential oils offer passage to peace, but the essence of such comforts is drawn from the purity of the oils that bestow these gifts. Only with vigilant testing can oils in their most natural form be offered. This is our quality control lab, where we test and verify that our high quality standards are met on each lot of essential oils. Testing is a critical part in the seed to seal process. Young Living has gone to great lengths to ensure that the quality standards we've established are met. We've invested significant resources and time to developing a vast database of oils from which we draw upon. We use this database to set our standards, our specifications, which are then used to ensure that nature's living energy is present on every lot of oil that we receive. Young Living Seal is more than a mark. It's a symbol of authenticity. Sealing essential oils the Young Living way means working from blending to bottling to shipping in a clean, organized environment. Only then can we deliver the potency in every product for which Young Living is known. Welcome to production. This is where we bottle and seal the oils. When we fill a bottle with essential oil and put the Young Living label on it, we understand that that bottle and oil represents everything Young Living stands for, nature's living energy. We keep distributors in mind as we work. We want to make sure they get the quality in every bottle they deserve. After the product is sealed, my job is to ensure the product gets from us safely to the customer. We send a lot of oils from the warehouse, and each package is special. I love the Young Living products and I've shared them with my family. Every time a Young Living member opens the box, I want them to have the same experience that I have. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I saw Kira's packages. Did you guys see Kira's packages? So she was right, right? That's a very extensive process. Who in here is a green thumb? Who admits to being a green thumb? Okay, I got two, only two. You a green thumb? Not at all. Wouldn't even, like, won't even claim it because the person next to you is green thumb, right? Okay. So don't you th think it's amazing when someone says, well, I make my own oils. Really? Really? You 
wow, that's an amazing process that you go through to make an oil and make sure it's quality. I wouldn't use that person's oil. Like if they gave me that one for Christmas, I'd be like, oh, thanks a lot, you know, somewhere else it goes, right? So anyway, just wanted to share that. Um, this is a sample of just a few of our farms. Um, I think there's a few of you who are going go to go to a farm next year, right? A couple of you are going to be hanging out at a farm. It's an amazing process. Everything you saw in that video, you will see at the farm. That is the entire process from the beginning to end. You will get to see it. So uh, it's, a, it's really an amazing thing to watch. Um, and then this is our farm out in um, Oman. Anybody know where Oman is? It's very far away. Just leave it at that. Middle East, okay. Uh, and then we have, we have some new farms, bless you, we have some new farms, uh, we, brand new one in British, British Columbia. Uh, and uh, we've got farms in France and Ecuador, all around the world. So we've got uh, 12 farms in total, which is what we need to keep, uh, to keep you supplied with oils. So just so you know, if you ever get concerned about, gee, they don't have this oil in stock, Remember this process, those of you who are not green thumbs, right? It's not as easy as they make it look. Okay, they've been doing it for 21 years. Okay, one thing this is so important for our Mommy and Me class, our promise to families. We believe that you and your family deserve products that are genuine, free of synthetic chemicals, and of unmatched purity. The C to seal, and you'll see there's a trademark, is both our promise to you and a reflection of our sense of global stewardship. That's important for families today. All right, so we're going to jump into our everyday wellness kit, and we're going to go through this um, at a high level because we have a lot of kids' products that we want to share today, right? So we're not going to go through all these oils in great depth, but we are going to hit them at a high level. And I have some people here in the room uh, that I am going to ask um, a couple of them, I think, had some stories about different oils. I'll just kind of give them a nod, and then if they decide that they're not the one as I look at them, then I'll move on to the next one. Uh, but w as, we, as we move forward, what I'd like you to do is just take a brief moment, and I'd like you to close your eyes. And for the next 15 seconds, close your eyes. And for the next 15 seconds, I'd like you to take a notice of what you are feeling. Take some deep breaths. So tell me, anybody care to share what's going through their mind right now, what they're feeling? I feel um, a sense of calmingness. Um, I don't feel stressed. I don't feel anxiety like I normally do. <laughs> and um, now I'm starting to feel sleepy since my eyes are closed, but <laughs> um, I think that's about it. Would you care to share? We're going to move on to one of our oils, and I thank you for sharing. And I did want to ask you, would you be willing to share your story about lavender um, with your son? Sure, because we're going to move on to the oils. We're going to talk about lavender. So can you share that while you're up here? Thanks. Um, so um, another reason why we got started with the oils was um, I found out that lavender helps with um, eczema for the skin. And um, my daughter has um, eczema issues. And so lavender was the number one oil that we would generally pull out and rub on our feet and rub on our ears places where they can't really touch um, on their back, on the back of their necks um, for bedtime. And my son decided to take out the lavender oil and rub it all over his body. And we wa it was the, day, the second day I had my kit, my everyday oils kit. <laughs> and I was like, really? And I walked up there and I instantly freaked out because I was like, oh my gosh, he got into the oil. And my initial reaction of freaking out was because I was like, I was thinking something harmful was going to happen to him because he spread it all over himself. And he was like, Mommy, I rubbed the oils on my ears and my back and my forehead. And he was just shiny. And so I was like, oh, my gosh. 
And then I thought, wait a minute, it's 100% pure essential oil. It's not that bad. It's not going to be that bad. He's just going to be sleepy, which isn't a bad thing. And sure enough, I said, do you know what you did? And my daughter, Haley, that was here, said, he's going to sleep. <laughs> and I said, yes, you are going to sleep. So let's go ahead and get ready for bed. And um, that was it with the lavender oil. Um, I think for the most part, I'm okay with the oils being out. I mean, I don't want them wasting the oils because they're so precious to us. But I wasn't in panic mode like I was um, when he got a hold of, I don't know, melatonin. <laughs> um, once, but that's about it. Well, thank you very much for sharing, Natasha. We appreciate that. And so bottom line is lavender supports the what we call the integumentary system. Anybody know what that means? Skin. It supports the skin, right? So again, we don't diagnose, treat, or cure anything. With the oils, we support wellness with the oils. So um, lavender, we call this the Swiss Army knife of oils because when in doubt, use lavender, right. How many kids up here used lavender, and were there any parents worried that they were using lavender? I know we have a new mom in the room. Were you worried your kids are using lavender? Not in the least, see? Okay, that's a good thing. So um, lavender, very good at um, comforting and calming. Uh, to unwind, put a few drops in your bath at nighttime, diffuse for a fresh, clean scent. Uh, it's great in your laundry, you know, to kind of make things smell nicer. Uh, and also very good complement to many of the favorite shampoos, lotions, or skincare products that we're going to be sharing in a moment. Um, peppermint. Um, you'll see up here it says it supports gastrointestinal system comfort. Uh, so I had the pleasure of having some nieces, great nieces visiting. They're also great nieces, and then they're my great nieces, right? Okay, and so we were feeding them, you know, hot dogs and, you know, beans, and, you know, you never know what's going to go on from a digestion standpoint. So we said, how would you like some peppermint water? Yay! Everybody wanted peppermint water, and they were great. They had no problem gastrointestinal system supported, right? So peppermint also smells great. We had, I think we had somebody up here who liked peppermint just because it smelled good. So it promotes healthy bowel function. Were the bowels good that night, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were great. <laughs> All right. It maintains efficiency of the digestive tract and also may support performance during exercise. So that's peppermint oil. Now we're going to move on to lemon. And I'm thinking I might have had a lemon story. Oh, okay. So one of our moms here has referenced that she has used lemon in icing. Isn't that a great idea? Now, when you cook, you know, we actually have some essential oil recipe books. So let me give you an example. When you cook, if you were going to make like a big pot of spaghetti, you would not put a drop of like oregano in there. Right? Do you know what you actually do? Anybody know? Yeah. What would what what would you do? Well, I learned the hard way because I did put a drop of oregano in something, and I was supposed to put a toothpick. Yes, that's correct. A toothpick. So she didn't put a toothpick in for seasoning. What you do is you put the toothpick in the top through the bottle, right through the little hole at the top of the bottle that keeps all the oil from falling out. Okay, you know, the anticipation, you're singing the ketchup song, waiting for the oil to come out. Okay, so she, you stick a toothpick through the top of the bottle, and then you take the toothpick that has now the oil on it, and you stick that in your big pot, your big recipe pot, and you just do that, and then you throw the toothpick away, right? You got that. Don't put that in there for extra crunch. Okay, and, and that's all the seasoning you need of oregano. So who's going to put like five drops in a big pot? Anybody here thinking, oh, yeah, this big pot, might as well put five drops, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you know not to do that. So what's neat about lemon, I would have loved to have that lemon icing because lemon is very good for mental mistakes. It helps reduce them. And I have a few accountants in the room, and they, they probably don't want to be making mental mistakes, right? So uh, lemon... Um, has some fantastic things in it. I'm going to ask you to Google a few of these things because you may not actually know what they mean, and we don't really have time to get into depth on it, 
but it includes a naturally occurring constituent called limonin. It enhances the flavor of foods and water, and it's a very key ingredient in our Ningxia Red Thieves and our Inner Defense product line. Now we'll move on to frankincense. Who's heard of frankincense? The Bible? Is that where everybody's heard from? Anybody heard of it somewhere else? No? Okay, great. So frankincense, you know, that was um, that is an amazing oil. We get that in three different areas of the world. We have three different kinds of frankincense. Um, anybody know that it comes from a tree? Haley. Haley, yes. Yes, it comes from a frankincense tree. Our kids told us that. They're so smart. It uh, has an earthy balsamic scent. You, it's very good to diffuse during meditation. It's very good for grounding, kind of helping you feel secure, okay? Very good for after um, using for massage after ac different activities, and it's a very key ingredient in many of our other essential oil blends. Copaiba, anybody knew how to say that correctly? C-O-P-A-I-B-A, Copaiba, okay. This one's fabulous. I have a great story about this. Now, it's not kid-related, but you know what? Older people are people too, right? So Copaiba, I use with my, um, my elderly mom. She has some issues with, uh, you know, burning, you know, like acid burning in her, in her digestive tract from some of her medications. She now drinks a Copaiba tea at night, and that's been helping her tremendously. So Copaiba, very good to support the digestive system, and um, also has uh, some amazing constituents to help with um, even supporting you know, the immune system. So keep that in mind for Copaiba. It smells great. It's a bit like cinnamon. Uh, it, I love that oil. It's very good to diffuse as well. Now, I know we have some folks in here who might have had a story about thieves. Does anybody want to share a story about thieves? Um, thieves is fantastic for supporting the immune system. And I'm going to tell you a great story about thieves. This is really key. So the reason that thieves is actually what we call a blend oil. That means there's multiple single oils. So far, you've heard of sin, you know, peppermint, lemon, things you, lavender, single oils. This is a blend oil. It's got multiple oils that make it up. And it actually got its name from the oils that that make it up, they were used in the old days when robbers would rob the towns where people died of the plague. So they would put these oils on them so they could go rob the town because the people were dead, right? And they're like, they needed to get all their junk out of there. So think about that. That's why it's called thieves. So I'm going to ask Kelly to share a story about thieves. Um, I use thieves on my seven-year-old Kira that was up here with her uh, respiratory um, allergies, congestion. We were doing all kinds of stuff, um, Zyrtec, nasal sprays, humidifiers, and every fall, winter, she's just congested and coughing and hacking. And so I found an acupressure point on the bottom of her foot, like she said, on her toes. Um, and I just put a couple of drops on each foot, and it, it helped her sleep through the night. It helped her congestion calm down to where she could actually get a restful night's sleep instead of up every couple hours hacking away at the drainage she was having. Um, so Thieves is fantastic for supporting the immune system um, during those fun, allergy-stricken times. Thank you. So it's good for immune system support, cardiovascular support, respiratory, and even um, digestive system. Uh, it has in it lemon, cinnamon, clove, rosemary, and eucalyptus. So it's a great oil to put in your diffuser at Christmas time. All right, uh, we're gonna talk about the Thieves Household Cleaner product line just a moment. So does everybody know that some people think that if their house doesn't smell like a chemical, it's not clean. Do you know people like that? Yeah. Okay. So do you know that inhaling those chemicals is probably not good for you, for your children? Right? Do you know if there's cleaners on your floors that your kids waddle across, is that good for them? Probably not. That's why they have little warning labels on those bottles that says, don't let your kid drink this, right? Okay, so if your kid's walking across the floor, it can absorb into their feet, right? Into their skin, we talked about that. Do you know that, that substances can get through your whole system, through your skin very easily? So we have an entire product line 
it goes from household cleaner, which can be used on anything from kitchens to bathrooms to windows to floors, carpets, you, carpets. Here's a mom who said carpets. It needs to be used on carpets. Okay. Uh, we also have um, dental floss, toothpaste. It's all got the chemicals out of them. This is important for your kids, right? And there's kids kinds of toothpaste, a specific kids toothpaste in the mix here. Um, and then what we talk about is it's important to understand that you may use a lot of these cleaners like Windex, Lysol, Pledge, Clorox. The bottom line is those cleaners are toxic. And those, your kids are, have access to those. Whereas this household cleaner actually helps replace every single one of those, including the oven cleaner. I can attest to that. So again, it's about safety. It's about wellness. And it's about do those toxins build up in your system? Do your build up in your kids' systems? Does that cause your kids to have brain fog? Maybe. Does that potentially cause them to have, you know, other kind of, you know, needing respiratory support and things like that? It's possible. Very possible. Okay. Purification. I think we had Haley Ann was saying she likes purification. And bless her heart, did you hear her get that big word out? <laughs> that is a big word for a five-year-old, right? I was very proud of her. It's very good to freshen the air and eliminate odors. Um, it's phenomenal uh, to help with, I know a mom that used it for, um, she had two little boys. And is this true? Did they have smelly closets? Oh, yes. Oh, yes? OK. Yeah, she used it in their closet. She would take a diffuser with 16 drops <laughs> of purification oil in the diffuser and stick it in their closet and shut the door. OK, so I'm just saying purification. Yeah, that's a, yeah there's, that's a, that's a good one. Um, you know, you can use this. It's actually in our Young Living um, bath and shower gel purification. That's good to know. You can use it in Epsom salt to soak. If any kids have a soccer game they run to, sprain an ankle. Anybody know any kids that have done that? Or, right? Epsom salt bath with purification could be very helpful. This is also very good for neutralizing any kind of odors. So if you're you know, it doesn't just have to be kid odors, maybe in the diaper pail, you just never know. Could be things like that. Panaway. So Panaway, does anybody have a story about Panaway? Kristen's got a story about Panaway. Why don't you share with us for just a second? So Olivia, for a while, putting her to bed, she would, my legs hurt, my legs hurt. And I was like, oh, okay, you're fine, you're fine, go to bed. Just one excuse to get out of bed, right? And then I started thinking, you know, Maybe she's having growing pains, because I can vaguely remember as a kid. Yeah, yeah, there, it was true that your legs did hurt. So I went and got the pan away and put a couple squirts of the V6 oil in my hand and one drop of the pan away and rubbed it together and then rubbed it all over her legs. And she went to sleep, stopped complaining. So occasionally she will ask for, you know, my legs hurt. Can I have the... Can I have the oils on my legs is what she'll ask. She doesn't know the names of the oils. She'll ask, yeah, can I have oils, mommy? My legs hurt. And so I'll say, okay, go get the one with the big cap, because notice it has a big safety cap on it, and the pee on it. And she'll go, she'll find it and bring it to me. And we'll rub them on her legs, and she's good to go for the evening. Fabulous. Thank you for sharing. So, again, Panaway, uh, great for helping those kiddos when they have some, some leg pain going on, things like that. So... Keep that one in mind for the future. Um, Digize. Digize is fabulous for digestive support. Does anybody know a kid who's ever said, my tummy hurts? Sure Always say that, huh? OK. So Digize is very good for supporting um, normal detoxification and, di and digestion in the body, right? Does anybody's kids eat really clean, great food, like all organic vegetables every day? Oh, you're laughing. Okay. So anybody eat like cotton candy? Anybody going to the state fair, going to eat some cotton candy, eat the candy apples? That, those are toxic, right? Okay. So that is the kind of thing that you might consider digize for, right? The occasional tummy ache. All right. Now, the next 
the next oil is called RC respiratory comfort and um, did you do you have a story on RC any who wants to come up? anybody can share one story come on up um, our kiddos suffer with respiratory um, issues so do I as well um, with asthma and um, just I forgot the one upper respiratory that RSV yes that they get quite often in the winter um, RSC was really great with rubbing it on their neck and their chest um, I would always dilute it just because I'm nervous because I made the mistake of <laughs> not diluting my oils in the very beginning but um, I would rub it on their neck their chest and um, their backs at night to help with um, their heavy breathing or if they were wheezing or um, if I felt like I didn't want to use the humidifier, I would rather use the oil with the, um, the diffuser. Yes, diffuser. sorry, I couldn't think of that word. Yes, the diffuser. Um, so that's what we use RC for. Fabulous. Fabulous, thank you very much for sharing. So RC, fabulous for supporting the respiratory system, right? So um, again, always diffuse, um, she gave us some some great answers there. You can always dilute it also with V6 oil. Now our next oil, um, stress away. Now, I don't know, maybe there's some kids who've had some stress in their day, but I bet you there's some parents who've had some stress in their day. Yeah. Does anybody have a, a stress away story uh, that they've used with their kids or maybe they used it for themselves? Yeah, you do? Okay, well come on up again. We, 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 love, we love your stories. I actually, um, I just realized, I do, I use uh, Stress Away in the mornings when dropping Haley off at um, kindergarten or pre-K um, because she has anxiety about walking in the school sometimes. Um, like once we get there, she's not as excited to see all her friends or her teachers or they're too busy doing things. So I actually carry Stress Away and Thieves and Lavender um, <laughs> for Hayden when he walks into class. But um, the stress way really helps calm her down a little bit um, just to break away from some of the anxiety that she's experiencing walking in the door um, to her classroom. Great, great. thank you for sharing. Now stress away's got a, another blend oil as several of these have been. Um, I, I particularly like vanilla just cause it, it's just doggone smells good. Um, but it also has a few other oils in there that are helpful for supporting um, sleep, like cedar wood and lavender, um, and also just for stabilizing and grounding kids, right? So good, good, very good oil to use there. Now we're going to jump into the Kid Sense. We're going to um, just talk very briefly, just so you're familiar with the product line. Um, each of these uh, items that we're going to share with you are specifically designed with kids in mind, so they have neat kid flavors and things like that. Um, this one is in particular is a full spectrum vitamin, mineral, and antioxidant um, uh, chewable tablet, Mighty Vites. We also have Mighty Zyme chewable tablets. Does anybody know about enzymes? Enzymes are really good to digest your food. They help you kind of, they eat, like when you eat good foods, like healthy foods, vegetables, apples, you know, things like that, they have natural enzymes. That's what causes an apple to actually go ahead and, you know, when it turns brown, an apple, that's the enzymes. It's, you know, starting to eat away at it, right? So, um, so enzymes are very good for the digestive support. Kid Sense bath gel, again, we talked about toxins earlier, not good, right? So we want to look at to uh, items that do not have toxins in them. Kid Sense shampoo, these are, uh, no mineral oils are in this, no artificial colors, no toxic ingredients. Uh, again, things that are in there to actually help strengthen and nourish um, the kid's hair. Not to mention some chamomile. That can't be a bad thing before bedtime, right? Uh, kid scent lotion. Also, um, similar things. I love it. It's got calming and soothing shea butter in it. Um, and UV protection. It's got a natural UV protection in it. So again, Kid Sense Lotion, um, a fabulous alternative to some of the things that you might see standardly with different toxins and artificial colors and ingredients in them. The Sleek Toothpaste, we saw that earl uh, earlier. Um, we talked a little, there's also um, Thieves Toothpaste is what you saw earlier. And again, does not have some of the toxins that are normal toothpaste. Have, has anybody ever read the toothpaste warning? 
Really read the toothpaste warning? Yeah, there's a scary thought. You're going to go home and read it tonight now, right? And you're going to be like, darn, I can't brush my teeth until my order comes in three weeks. Okay. Um, kids sense tender tush. Anybody know what tender tush is for? <laughs> Got an idea? Diaper rash. There you go. All right. So again, another fabulous uh, item that is keeping the toxins away from your kids. Because if you don't think that's affecting them in school, those toxins, affecting learning, things like that, that would be a misnomer. Um, the, our kids sent collection. You know, we had, we had a couple of them. Maybe it was Olivia only. I know a couple of them know these, these other oils. They just forgot their names. Um, but we've got this whole kids sent collection. This is brand new. What's neat about this? Pre-diluted already with coconut oil. So when your kids are the kids that get into your oils, hand them this set. Tell them, leave my oils alone. And they got neat names. Genius. Nobody talked about that one today. I happen to know for a fact that Ashlyn had some genius on her one day because uh, she wanted it. It was right before school was starting, and she was pretty interested in being a genius the next day, so she used a little genius. Uh, so this is basically to help focus. And, uh, and it helped her, encourage her to, you know, do well in school. Bite Buster, I know, uh, I do know that a couple of them have used Bite Buster because well, bugs are big around here <laughs> and they hurt. So Bite Buster is fabulous for um, helping to address uh, an, an annoyance-free environment outdoors. Tummy Jies, I also know a couple of them have used Tummy Jies. Uh, and again, that's to support digestion. And that occasional upset stomach, you know, they come to you and they go, my tummy hurts. And then it's like, their tummy is here. <laughs> like, is it really your tummy? How do you know it's not your pancreas? <laughs> um, you know, they don't know that, but okay. So um, moving along, owie. Anybody not kind of get what owie's for, right? Again, a couple of these kiddos up here, they forgot. And then they remembered after Olivia reminded them, but a couple of them have used owie. In fact, when Haley Ann, she uh, she made a point. She had some kind of, she had something going on with a belly button. And I don't know if you ever knew what it was, but it, um, mom didn't know exactly what it was. It just looked odd, like a scab or cut of some sort, a blister, a blister. So we tried Owie. We put, we gave her a drop of Owie. Let her put it on there. I forgot about it. And I saw her a week later, and she goes, well, I won't do this because I'm on video, but I wish she was here right now. She goes, look! <laughs> and the owie was gone. <laughs> I had forgotten that we used owie. Um, but she didn't. She remembered. So that I thought that was a, a great testimonial. Sniffleys um, makes a lot of sense. It's healthy uh, nasal function, helps to support the immune system. And sleepy eyes. Uh, uh, again, I remember having a couple of the kids over and um, I put in the diffuser sleepy eyes and peace and calming. They were gone. <laughs> Uncle Keith's like, I think I'll keep them up a little longer. I'm like, no, you won't. <laughs> 15 minutes later, they were out. <laughs> Couple things here you might find interesting are Dino Land and Dolphin Reef Diffusers. These are hot items. If you have any interest in these for Christmas, <laughs> I wouldn't wait. I'd order now. Um, these are interchangeable, meaning you get one, you can get a base with the top, and then you can buy the second top and just use it on the same base. That's kind of a neat, neat feature. There's some other neat features about this diffuser. It also has a night light, I understand. Um, how many kids need a night light? You got a few kids around that need a night light? Yeah. So night light's important. And uh, so I love this diffuser. And then we have some, uh, some blends that we have available for you to help kids. You put several different oils in a diffuser at one time, and we have some, I, 
I'll call them just blends on a piece of paper, kind of like a bit of like a recipe. Um, and there are several of them. One is to help them enjoy um, indoor playtime with some uplifting aromas, kind of keep them calm. Another one is for making quiet reading time a pleasure for your children. That's important. Anybody have kids that maybe have a difficult time reading? Um, another one is creating, creates an inspiring and invigorating um, scent in study spaces. Hmm, that's kind of neat. So if your kiddo needs to concentrate while they're studying, this would be a good one to put the diffuser on that desk, help them study. And then another one to inspire a relaxing, gentle, and pleasant aromatic atmosphere. Now we have a number of handouts today, some of which are uh, related to back to school. Uh, kids who are having separation anxiety type issues or anything like that with, you know, not sure they want to go to school, needing a little more courage. Uh, we also have um, several different other quote-unquote recipes uh, for various different things to help kids focus uh, or deal with various things that are going on in the school environment. So a couple other custom blends we've got for children's bedrooms, playrooms, or throughout the house. One is called Jungle Mist, Floral Glow, Woodsy Breeze, Happy Homework. That sounds good. Um, and each of these different fragrances help to um, kind of quiet down the environment, ground it, relax it, um, or help with like creating a cheery environment, just depending on what your kid's going through. So we've got a few of those um, custom blends on that sheet as well to share with you. So if you are interested in getting your own oils, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's kind of a neat opportunity here uh, because we've shared so much that these little tiny bottles can do. So basically, you've got two options. Um, one is to be a customer, and the person that invited you here today can assist you uh, with that process where you would actually just uh, order from them, get your own retail portal where you can do that online. And in that retail portal, you can do um, order anything you want um, at, at a, a retail price. And then others may decide, well, you know, I'd rather have it like Costco where I get a 24% discount. I mean, why not, right? That makes sense. Why pay 24% more? So that is um, what we call a wholesale member. Uh, the neat thing about this program versus Costco is you don't have to renew each year as long as you buy at least $50 in products in a 12-month period of time. That's not one month, it's 12 months. As long as you do that, you're in good shape. Um, it allows you to share the, the Young Living products with family and friends. Uh, it allows you to earn some extra income. Does anybody need extra income? Does that help? Does that help some people in here? Okay. I mean, maybe you're set, you know, but I know some people that, you know, extra couple hundred dollars a month would go a long way, right? Um, and it helps you also take advantage of essential rewards. We'll talk about that in just a moment. So the best value of all of everything we've talked about today is the premium starter kit. The premium starter kit has um, a tremendous amount of products available. It's everything we talked about today uh, and that a lot of the kids referenced as well that they are using. It's got a lot of different samples, samples of um, our powerful antioxidant drink. And it's got, it includes its own diffuser. And uh, as you know, aromatic is one of the ways we use the oils. So with our, um, when you look at the pricing on this, the, it really is the best deal. The premium starter kit gets you all those oils we talked about today, plus a diffuser. You have a choice of diffusers, plus stress away. We talked about stress away. And then those various other um, little samples for $160. If you decide to do this and say, I just really want, I want all that, but I want to just be a retail member and I want the person who invited me to get this for me, that would actually cost you $254 to get it at retail. Or you could buy it as a wholesale member separate, separately as opposed to part of a kit, and that would be $193 to do that. So really, I know I had two accountant type people in the room and then another person who does some bookkeeping things. And so... Can somebody tell me which is the best deal up here? Door number one, door number two. Ding, 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 door number, oh, the one with the, the big arrow. Okay, there you go. All right, so just so you know, we've got had a, some really fascinating, great new changes. Um, we've got a couple of these diffusers for you to see here today. Um, 
these come with the $160 uh, premium starter kit option. There is another diffuser that's a bamboo diffuser. And then our premium diffuser, an, uh, what we call an ARIA, um, that one has its own remote control, MP3 plugins, and you know all kinds of neat stuff, pretty lights and things like that. Um, each one of these is just a little bit different, so you can find out more from the person that invited you. And so bottom line is this is about transfer buying. This is not asking you to buy products that you wouldn't be using. I mean, somebody is going to buy something to support respiratory health this season, right? Somebody's going to buy something to support muscular health in January when their New Year's resolutions kick back in, right? The, this is about transfer buying, right? You're going to, hopefully you're going to buy, you know, the cleaner for your house, right? Those are all things that you normally are buying. So we're not asking you to buy anything new. We're saying start to transition out the old toxic products and start to see what a difference that makes in your new cleaner environment. We have an essential rewards program and that basically offers um, premium reward program for 10, 15, or 20% off each of your orders. It allows you to get monthly shipments, very easy discounted shipping and special bonuses. Um, and you also create rewards. It's like a frequent flyer program. So when you have that program, at the end of the year, I'm always amazed I'll have like $650 worth of stuff I can buy um, from this essential rewards program. So it's a fabulous way to get free product. So we ask you to just educate and empower yourself. Learn, right? Don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Everybody seems to think they're an expert on everything these days. Go Google it, right? Um, Facebook page, Young Living 101, you can like our page and be part of our group where we have different discussions. We have monthly classes, home classes, conference calls, um, webinars, and uh, educational resources that we share on a regular basis through um, various media. So the basis behind this program is love it, share it, repeat it. And, and I know we have people here who have experienced that. They didn't plan on sharing the oils, they didn't plan on building a business, they didn't plan on anything, and basically what happens is they got oils in their diffuser, some neighbor comes by, they smell them, they say, your house smells better than mine, why? Oh, oils. And they take a little sample that you get in that premium starter kit and you hand it out. It's just that simple. So, love it, share it, as easy as one, two, three. Um, and something most of you don't know is that when three people, when you introduce three friends to our premium starter kit and they actually purchase a premium starter kit, yours is free. Gee, that's, I see that offered at Costco all the time, don't you all? <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so how do you enroll? Well, get with the person that signed up, brought you here today and talk to them about whether you want to be a, 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 a retail customer or you'd like to purchase um, your own premium starter kit and actually receive the products at 24% off. Now, we're going to do a drawing shortly, and um, what we're going to do next, and just, just so you know, we talked about a lot of oils today and a lot of products. So the bottom line is, you might be thinking, what do I do next? So baby steps. Step one, premium starter kit. You heard these kids. They're not all using the kids' kit. They're using the adult kit much to the dismay of some of their parents, but they're using the adult kit, right? So that makes the most sense to get you started, that premium starter kit. And then consider spacing out the other items that you're interested in buying, right? So maybe a month two, you get on essential rewards and you start the process of, well, I don't want to have to get, you know, X, Y, Z for the Owie next time. I'll just, use, I'll buy an Owie oil for my kids because they are, you know, hazard and they always have owies. Um, and then step three, start to share the oils with people that you know because whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. I, you can't stop it, right? All right, so if you have any questions, touch base with us, um, anyone here in the room. And um, we just thank you for attending and thank you for your attention.